technologically advanced. Deputy Premier and Minister for the Negev and the Galilee, Sylvain Shalom, said this week that his plan to increase the population in Negev towns by some 300,000 people is gaining momentum. He told IBA's Leah that he is now pressing the government to allocate sufficient funds to improve the infrastructure in the area to facilitate the influx of residents. I have a vision to bring more 300,000 uh, new uh, people, new settlers to live there in the Negev. It can be done. It can be done, of course, if we are going to give them the conditions, and the conditions are there. First, uh, the main project is uh, to end uh, moving the military bases of the Israeli Defense Force uh, to the Negev. We are working very hard, and we are uh, giving uh, you know, all the answers to uh, what we call the civil questions. For instance, uh, those who would like really to move there, and uh, their wife would like to know if she would have a job there, what uh, type of uh, education uh, the children can get, uh, what uh, the options uh, to uh, maybe buy a house there or to get uh, some rent for two, hour, two years that they will get for free, or about uh, entertainment infrastructure. Uh, for uh, uh, that we are building these days a new center in Beersheba with the Ministry of Defense that will give all the answers in one place. So those families that would like to move to uh, live there in the Negev would have the uh, opportunity to get all the answers in one place. But it's not uh, only the military bases. We are talking about uh, uh, new roads, the new uh, what we call in uh, uh, you know uh, in the Israeli expression Road Six mm -hmm. that uh, now is uh, uh, bringing you until Beersheba from Tel Aviv less than one hour, okay. and from the next year the train after uh, what they are doing there, uh, you know, in 2011 it will take about 48 minutes from uh, Beersheba to Tel Aviv. It's uh, almost nothing. Okay. Uh, so we have time for just one more very quick question. As you know, all the plans you're talking about, and especially education, cost hundreds of millions of shekels. Are you convinced that the Prime Minister and the Finance Minister are with you in these plans and will provide the funds? I think you put uh, the, the finger on uh, the real uh, uh, issue because we have to give an answer what are the priorities of uh, that government. And I've said most of my political career that we would like, we need to take a decision to move a budget, to move the money from the defense budget toward the Negev and the Galilee, education, right. welfare and health, and it should be done. Otherwise, if we will give all the money, one year after another, only to the defense budget, I think we would uh, uh, face a real crisis that will, uh, it might be happen in the Negev and the Galilee. Absolutely. And we can do it, and we can do it in the next coming budget. It will be for two years. Okay. And I would like to believe that the answers will be positive ones, that it will help me to implement my vision to bring more uh, 300,000 uh, people to the Negev well, in the, the next decade. Thank you. We're certainly with you on that. Deputy Premier and Minister for the Development of the Negev and the Galilee, Sylvan Shalom, I'd like to thank you very much thank for being with much. us this evening. Thank you. The IBA weather team tells us